What's up, guys? So, guys, I was born in Venezuela and now live here in California, which, uh, yeah, which makes me Mexican. <laughs> I had to learn English on my own. English is a very hard language because the thing about English is that you guys got words with letters that are silent. Like they're there, but you don't mention them. <laughs> Like the word salmon. Why is there an L in there? I just have to pretend that it's not there? No, but I see the L. Oh, he's silent. Then get it out of there. Give it to Lollipop. I think to me that's how they should test people in immigration to see if they're American or not. Like at the border, like, sir, please pronounce this word. Salmon. We're gonna have to deport you, sir. There's an L in there. You have to pretend it's not there. That's the American way, sir. I am trying to sound more American too. I want to have an American accent. That's why I'm taking an American accent class. In the class, they tell me that I have to enunciate every word. And the other day I got pulled over by a cop. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna use my American accent. So I'm sitting in my car and the cop goes over to my window and I'm like, hello, officer. <laughs> and what seems to be the problem? <laughs> The cop was like, your voice. Uh, why are you talking like that? I'm talking like any American citizen. It's like, do you have anything in the trunk? Not immigrants. <laughs> it's not out of salmon. Oh, God. Another American, I actually want to sound more American, so I'm taking an American accent class. When I was growing up, I couldn't say the word focus, and I used to teach tennis to kids. I was the director of a tennis camp and I do this parent-teacher conference. So I go and talk to the parents. I'm like, hey, welcome parents. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you that your kids uh, will not <laughs> us. But now I like having an accent because girls think my accent is cute, you know? <laughs> see that? <laughs> so every time I see a hot girl, I think it up. <laughs> so I was at this party and I saw this girl by herself. So I walk up to her, I'm like, Hola. <laughs> uh, my name is, uh, how do you say? <laughs> Francisco. <laughs> so I, um, I used to live with my girlfriend, and one thing it didn't work out is that she was too quiet for me. You know, it was like I was living with a Prius. Because I'm not used to that, because all my girlfriends before her were Latinas, and Latinas are loud. They're not like Priuses. They're like dirt bikes. They made noise for no reason. Ah! <laughs> what are you saying? Nothing. Ah! <laughs> and when they get angry, they become like exotic animals, like parrots, like Francisco. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah! <laughs> and the hardest thing was sharing the shower, man. Because when I was single by myself, I didn't have anything in my shower. I only had one giant bottle of shampoo that I bought in 2008. It cost me 79 cents. And you can use it on horses, too. <laughs> she moved in, 25 bottles of shampoo, conditioner. It was like taking a shower in the middle of Walgreens. I'm like, what aisle is this? <laughs> and my shower was clean. I only had my giant bottle of shampoo. She moved in, hairs in the wall of the shower. I never been taking a shower in my life and then all of a sudden a hair falls off my hand. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna put it in the wall. <laughs> so
So uh, it's confusing to me when Latinos pretend they don't know Spanish when clearly they don't know English. Because the other day I went to Baja Fresh and the lady who was working there, obviously English was her second language. So I ordered Spanish to make it easier. I was like, uh, me da un burrito de pollo. She was like, excuse me, sir, but I don't speak Spanish, okay? <laughs> okay, Maria. <laughs> hey, can I get a chicken burrito, please? <laughs> Like, of course, un burrito de pollo con todo, por favor. Growing up, I wish I had a white mom. I love my mom, but growing up, I would see how my friend's mom, when, when, they, when they would wake them up, it was amazing. Because white moms, they walk slowly to the room. <laughs> with a candle. <laughs> Good morning, Skyler. <laughs> Time to wake up, sleepyhead. <laughs> and the kid's like, good morning, mommy. <laughs> Thank you for waking me up like that. <laughs> I have so much confidence now. <laughs> I didn't grow with any confidence. My mom woke me up like we're getting kidnapped all the time. <laughs> Just came running, kicking the door like, Francisco, levántate, vámonos! I'm like, oh my God, it's happening, it's today!